Hey, how's it going? Mr. Bill here today. And today I wanted to show you how I strip silence in Ableton Live. So Logic has an ability and Pro Tools has an ability and Cubase has an ability and actually most other DAWs have this ability to um, strip silence from, uh, from pieces of audio. So if I load it in a piece of audio like this, I could basically set like a, uh, I guess it's like a gate basically. So um, uh, let's see, if I, if I load in a gate here, uh, basically it says, you know, only open if the signal goes over a defined threshold of decibels. So unless it's over negative 11.1, uh, in the digital realm, then it's going to keep, well, it's going to let that sound through, but if it's not above negative 11.1, it's not going to let that sound through. <clears throat> and most sequences have this strip silence thing where you can say if something isn't over 11.1, like actually delete the clip. So like if it's not over 11.1, you know, it would delete say all this and all this and just get rid of like all that stuff, you know, obviously I didn't trim it properly and whatnot, but but that's the idea. And, um, and I recently got sent how many stems? Like 60 stems or something for a collab. It was like insane. I'll, I'll load them in right now. <clears throat> so I got sent all these stems for a collab and I was like, fuck, I, I wish Ableton had strip silence. What the hell? So um, so I was trying to think of like the best way to do it. Uh, and I this is what I came up with. So first of all, when you load the stems in, oh, by the way, the way I loaded them underneath each other like that is I just drag them in uh, and then you hold control on Windows or command on Mac and it will just drop them underneath each other instead of sequentially next to each other. Uh, and then I'm going to put the tempo of the track in, which is 134. And I, I know this, but you, you're going to want to figure out the tempo of your track first before you start cutting all these stems up. Because if you start cutting them up and you don't put the tempo of the stuff in first, everything's going to be off the grid and it's going to be a pain in the ass. So basically what I want to do here is turn every clip up to 24 plus dB or plus 24 dB. And the way I'm going to do that is grab the bottom clip or the top clip scroll up to the other end hold shift and grab the top one sort of just like when you're grabbing a lot of files in windows browser or mac finder or whatever uh and then turn all the clips up to plus 24 and now you can see that it's like really easy to see some stuff so for instance this ultra reverb channel you can actually see stuff happening in there at the moment but if we have this at zero db you can't see shit so like it's kind of impossible to to do anything with that so yeah, basically the idea is just turn everything up to 24 dB and then just edit it by hand, unfortunately. But um, at least this way, it's a lot easier to see stuff, you know. And um, a few techniques that I've come up with here to make this a little faster is to just highlight where the audio actually is and then press Control E or on Mac, that would be Command E like this. And then you can just sort of go through and delete the stuff like so. So for instance, you know, I'll just go through and do stuff like this. And then this may take you a minute. I mean, for 60 stems, like a session like this, <coughs> it would it took me, I think, I don't know, like five or 10 minutes to do it or something like that. So it was a pain in the Booty butt. What? But uh, it was a lot nicer to work with it when it was all stripped like this rather than not because when you zoom out again, you know, it looks all nice and stuff rather than, you know, when you, when you shut stuff like this, rather than just seeing a big color wall you're instead seeing some definition and starting to see sort of where things are happening in the track and it just makes it a little bit nicer to deal with during the creative process in my opinion. So uh, if you enjoyed that tutorial, go check out uh, mrbillstunes.com. I'll put a link in the description. Uh, I just relaunched the website, so I'm gonna be doing a lot of tutorials again uh, and releasing a lot of new stuff. There's a bunch of new project files there, a bunch of new stuff in general and uh, hopefully you enjoy it and yeah subscribe if you want to see more tutorials i'm definitely going to be making more tutorials over the next uh, couple of weeks here so uh yeah thanks very much